Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we are going to discuss the orbital velocity. And let me tell you that orbital velocity is also called as first cosmic velocity. Okay, so uh, it is the velocity with which the satellite orbits around a planet in a circular orbit. Okay, so this is the required velocity which is required for a satellite to orbit around a planet in a circular orbit. So let us find out the magnitude of this velocity. Let us consider that this, this is a satellite which is orbiting around this planet and this satellite is experiencing a force of mv square by r which is the pseudo force or centrifugal force and it is being balanced by the gravitational pull of the planet f gravitational now we can say that f gravitational is equal to m v square by r and this r is the radius of the orbit which is this one so this r is equal to r plus h so f gravitational is g m m upon r square and it is equal to m v square by r cancelling this r with r cancelling m with m now v will be equal to under root of g m by r and r is equal to r plus h so v orbital is equal to under root of g m by r plus h now for the orbits which are very close to earth surface h is very very less than r so we can neglect this h and this orbital velocity for a satellite which is orbiting around the earth in a very very close orbit to the surface of earth would be g m by capital r and you can see that g m is equal to this g m is equal to g r square so v of v orbital for those orbits would be under root of g r and this v orbital is approximately 7.92 kilometers per second this is the orbital velocity of the satellite which is revolving around the earth in a very close orbit okay so this is the orbital velocity and this is also called as the first cosmic velocity now now let us also discuss the different uh, trajectories of the satellite uh, for the different values of projectile velocity so let us suppose that this is earth and there is a point which is at a height of small r from the earth surface and from this point we are projecting uh, different satellites with velocity v and v will be variable we will vary the v so let us discuss the trajectories so first of all you can see that if this v is zero which means that if we are uh, not giving any velocity and we are just releasing that satellite from this point from rest then obviously this satellite will straight away move towards the center of the earth and it will fall on the earth and its trajectory would be a straight line and this one would be the trajectory now if uh, we are starting from this so let us first of all write down that in case of one v0 so trajectory would be a would be a straight line and satellite will fall back on earth now in second case in second case in this case we are giving the velocity v which is very very less than the escape velocity in fact the orbital velocity now we know that orbital velocity is 
v naught is under root g m by r where r is the radius of orbit so the velocity which we have given to the satellite is very very less than the orbital velocity and therefore you can again see that uh, it would follow the path 2 and uh, this path would be elliptical but it will fall back on earth again so satellite will fall back on earth again and it would follow a elliptical path now in the third case third case in the third case we have given a velocity which is uh, less than the orbital velocity but not very very less than the orbital velocity so you can see that in this case this satellite would be in a elliptical orbit like that and this elliptical orbit would have earth center at this focus at its second focus and this point would be the apogee of uh, this motion so apogee you know is uh, the point of the ellipse which is uh, the farthest point from the focus where planet is situated so this would be the apogee and this would be the focus where planet is situated and this is the farthest point from this point so this is apogee and this satellite would revolve around the earth in a elliptical path so <coughs> satellite will revolve around earth in an elliptical path and initially satellite would be at apogee okay now in this case we uh, will also discuss that satellite will have satellite will move in bounded orbit satellite will move in bounded elliptical orbit and its total energy would be negative okay now what is this bounded uh, bounded trajectory we will be discussing a topic uh, the energy of satellites in uh, the later on part of the gravitation but uh, today uh, in this video let me tell you the brief introduction of bounded and unbounded orbits now, now the orbit in which the satellite will uh, uh, revolve around the earth whether it is elliptical or circular that orbit is bounded orbit which means that satellite is not able to escape the gravitational pull of earth so it is orbiting around the earth and uh, therefore it is known as bounded orbit and if this or satellite is revolving around the earth then obviously its total energy would be uh, negative because if its total energy is zero then we know that it would escape to infinity so in fact uh, the meaning of uh, the zero total energy is uh, is the uh, is means that it is uh, out of the influence of gravity so this bounded uh, every bounded orbit has a negative uh, total energy so this is 
a bounded orbit and it would have a negative total energy. In the fourth case, we have given just the velocity which is equal to the orbital velocity. V is equal to VO which is under root of gm by r. Therefore, trajectory would be circular. Trajectory would be circular and orbit would be bounded. Orbit would be bounded orbit and the total energy of the satellite would be negative. Okay, now in fifth case, uh, if we have given a velocity which is greater than this orbital velocity, v is greater than orbital velocity but less than the escape velocity. Now, orbital velocity is under root gm by r and this escape velocity is not the escape velocity from the surface of a planet. In fact, this is the escape velocity from the orbit. Okay, So, it is always root 2 times of orbital velocity. So, it would be root 2 gm by r. So, we have given a velocity which is between these two velocities. So, obviously, satellite would not escape, but it would have a tra parabolic, in fact, uh, elliptical trajectory. You can see that it would revolve around the Earth in an ellipse like that. And Earth focus would be uh, the first focus of this ellipse and uh, this particle was initially at the perigee perigee is the closest point to the focus so trajectory would be elliptical orbit would be bounded and total energy would be negative. Now in the sixth case, in this sixth case, uh, we are giving a velocity which is greater than the escape velocity. So, V is greater than escape velocity. So, the satellite would escape or in fact, we are giving the velocity which is equal to the escape velocity. So, satellite would escape satellite would escape the gravitational pull of earth and uh, the trajectory would be parabolic and orbit would be non-bounded, unbounded and the total energy would be zero because it, it is escaping, it is just escaping the gravitational pull. And in the seventh case, if V is greater than the escape velocity, then obviously it would again, uh, the it would again escape, satellite would escape escape the orbit and trajectory would be would be hyperbolic and orbit would be unbounded and the total energy would be positive which means that this satellite would uh, reach the in infinite point or it would escape the gravitational pull of earth uh, in a hyperbolic path and after reaching the infinity it would move with some non-zero velocity in the interspe interstellar space. And this non-zero velocity is also called as uh, the third cosmic velocity or interplanetary velocity or interstellar velocity, which we have already discussed in the previous video. 
so this was uh, the different trajectories of the satellite for different projection velocities and let me again remind you that orbital velocity is also called as first cosmic velocities in the next videos we'll be uh, bringing the satellite motion along with the kepler's motion thank you for staying tuned to our channel and please share more and more so that more uh, people get benefit of this uh, uh, channel thank you